Hey guys, welcome to the DIY channel. I actually uh, <clears throat> was going to do a video on this, so I didn't do it from the beginning. I'm actually going to put some LEDs under my mailbox. So, you know, so I'm going to put it right here under the whole thing so it lights up the number and so it lights up the bottom. The bottom is done. I guess I wasn't sure if I was going to do a video on this. Not for everybody, but. You know, basically, water resistant LED, you know, all the way around. And um, I used hot glue for the meantime. And I might put a little bit of silicone, test it out first, make sure that, you know, it's not too bright or something like that. But uh, yeah, in this case, you can get a Home Depot. You can buy this. Let me see here. Where's the box? Oh, here it is. All right. You can buy one of these. Um, I think it's like 29 bucks or so. Um, it's pretty bright. So it's 12 volt. It's for landscaping. So this is 12 volt AC, not your regular 12 volt DC. So it does come with this rubber strip, but man, this thing doesn't stick to anything. It's water submergible. It's, it's actually pretty good. I, I can't complain about that, but it comes with like little plastic strips. So it's, you know, this is an aluminum mailbox. If you have a plastic one and you want to go for it, that's fine, but I don't know if you can see them, but it'll be here. And it comes with that. You know, I need a lot more than that. Um, I'm sure you could get those on, on eBay or Amazon. So you could pick this up at Home Depot. I think it was like 29 bucks. All right, so this is 12 volt AC. So this will hook up straight into your landscaping 12 volt um, if you have a 12 volt, uh, sometimes I think there's 24, but it's AC, so it won't work. Uh, regular LEDs won't work with your landscaping. So what I did here, it actually, uh, where's the plug? The plug, the plug, the plug. Where'd it go? Um, oh shoot, the plug went somewhere. Oh, here it is. All right, and the tip here, it's a built-in, uh, I guess it's AC to DC converter. Very, very small. So that will convert, you know, the LED strip to DC. I mean, the voltage to DC. So in my case, since it's already converted, I had, you know, comes with a converter, I'm using waterproof, already comes with the sticky tape, which they're not that good anymore nowadays. And so even though it says 3M, you know, it peels off all the time. So I'm using the hot glue gun. Sorry for the old one. I bought a new one and it lasted me 10 minutes and it broke. This is, I've had this for, I don't know, like 20 years. But, um, okay, right, so you could use, you know, waterproof LED strip. Um, so I kind of cut it here. I soldered a piece of cable. So this plug plugs into the cable that has the DC converter. I mean, no big deal, but uh, I'm sure you could put I'm sure you could um, make it yourself if you wanted to. Or, you know, do a little solar panel if you want to. One of those little solar things if you want to do that with battery. You know, whatever. In my case, I, I already had a, um, a light shining up on the mailbox, but you couldn't really see the number. So, in this case, now you're going to be able to see the number because I'm going to put a strip here. It'll light up the number, and then this will light up, like, the leg and stuff like that. So, for Christmas, we, you know, like to decorate the actual you know, a post. So I think it'll look kind of nice. So we'll, we'll see how that goes. And um, so if you plug it in, uh, my finger still keeps on coming out. Sorry about that. Let's see if you plug it in. All right. There it goes. Let's see. This is just a test. So it lights up pretty nice. Actually, pretty bright. Shit. <laughs> I'm gonna have to tone it down. So. Um, that's just the bottom. I still got to do the top. This is going to be a crazy ass looking mailbox. But this is one of those DIYs that neighbors don't have. Um, I'm setting up the landscaping pretty nice. Everything's looking pretty sharp. I already got the landscaping. Um, I mean, not the landscaping, the soffit lights. Um, kind of like something like this also that, that lights up the whole house. Looks really, really nice. Uh, you can check out the video on that. It's already posted. 
So, you know, basically put LEDs in the soffit and it lights up the whole wall of the home. Uh, a lot of people, what they do is they use um, hi-hats, but in that case, you know, you, you have black spots or, you know, dark spots. In my case, the whole entire wall is a nice smooth transition and it lights up and it's really nice. Um, I have the, I think the video is already up for that. Yeah, I already have it up for that. You know, with the Lutron Cassetta switches, so it looks pretty cool. In this case, this is going to work only with the landscaping lights. Um, even though I do have only, I have 3K lighting throughout the whole house, except the garage. And, um, you know, I, I could have find, supposedly these are 3K, but they're not. They're a little bit, they're like bright white, maybe like 3,500. Um, I don't, I don't think it's going to be a big deal, but, you know, I, I keep everything 3K throughout the whole house. Interior, everything. Everything in the interior, all the landscaping, everything's 3K. The only thing that's, like I say, it's bright is the garage here. So here it's, uh, I think, 5K. So it lights up really nice in here and bright. So, all right, let's do the top part. Um, and very, you know, very simple. I'm using, you know, the pylon stick that comes with the LED. You know, I'm touching it up with, uh, you know, hot glue in, in you know, all the corners that I can. You know, where the cables are so you don't pull it. Let me turn it off so you can see it. Okay, so you see the hot glue there. You know, so, you know, put it on the cables, and then what I'm going to do is now, if I can find it, where is it? Oh, okay, so here, I soldered on the LEDs, you know, thin, you know, I, this is like a phone cable. I got a whole roll of this stuff. So, I, I'm, you know, I'm going to run it inside the mailbox, and I'm going to put a little hole, and then do the same thing, you know, peel and stick, and then hot glue it, and, you know, it should be good to go. All right, I mean, just a simple little video for anybody who likes to, it goes LED crazy, want to do something cool under the mailbox. So, you know, obviously you can't see it, you know, when you're looking at the mailbox, but at nighttime, you can't see the numbers. Even though the house has numbers and sometimes you can't see it, so. And it's reflective. I mean, you can kind of see it sometimes when the car, when you're driving with the car, but I just want it to be different. All right, so let's keep on. All right, here we go. That's the inside of the mailbox. Some more hot glue on this. Uh, more hot glue. All the LEDs are inside, more hot glue. Hopefully it'll kind of won't come off with the sun. If it does, I'll just put silicone, which is probably gonna be my, my uh, it was gonna be my first choice anyway. So, so oh, hot glued in there now. Boy, I got that hot glue in my finger. Damn, that's just hot. Yeah, so uh, lesson one, don't get the hot glue in your finger. Hopefully the mailbox lady won't be like, what is that? So yeah, just a little cable. I didn't have to jewel anything. This is like a three piece mailbox. It comes with screws, but then like they welded it. So I was like, man, let's take it apart, you know, but no. I wanted to give it like a nice clear coat because it's kind of like being faded already. So I'll, I'll see if the LEDs work good. And uh, it's not too, too bright. I hope I don't have to like change it. I could always like black out some of the LEDs, which I've done in the deck in the back of the, by the pool. I'd uh, use actually the same LED, cut them, you know, because they come in like uh, threes. You know, you always get the, uh, let's see here, we can see it. Yeah, like the you know you got three LEDs and then you cut three LEDs and you cut. So I did some deck for the stick, you know, for the steps. I, I used this, you know, with the same cable and everything, and uh, it was just too bright. Wife didn't like it, so all I did was I got a black marker. I, you know, put a little bit of on each section of the LED and I dimmed it to her liking, and that worked out pretty good. So if I want to make it brighter, just you know, clean it with alcohol and then I'm back in business. But so here, I'm just gonna put the three cables together and see if I can test it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Excited. All right, finished product. Let me know what you guys think. You can even see the front. That's cool, so at nighttime, I come to get something inside the mailbox and you can see in there, <laughs> oh shit. I always wanted to put a light and a camera in there. I love coming to my mailbox and I greased up the this little thing that 
always made a bunch of little noise, so. Oh, I, why is it making? Oh, it's touching the cable. Oh, I gotta make sure I tuck that sucker in. That's not good. I'll fix that now. Yeah, it's nice and. Oh man, I think it's gonna look awesome outside. So. There we go. So if you guys wanna do your cool mailbox, you know. So now you can see the number of the house. And you can see the LED is perfect. So you're driving far away. Look at that. Ha <laughs> ha. Another DIY project. So yeah, it's gonna look sweet. Oh the neighbors hate me already. I make everything look pretty. Alright, go. Cool. Oh, let's turn this on. The background. Yeah. That video, is, I think it's also posted. Where I'm going to be posting it soon. How to put the LEDs, all the cabinets. Everything I've done in here, but... Alright, here we go. And uh, what's beautiful, I don't... I, you, know, you see a nice glow all the way around. You know, these LEDs are actually pretty good because they have a lot of LEDs. You see? Yeah, they have a lot of LEDs next to each other. It's pretty sweet. All right, enough of that. Let me see if I can install it. It's already late, but I'm just gonna put it on there and I'll take it out tomorrow because I gotta run the I'm gonna run the cable on the inside of the pipe going down. But uh, yeah, it's just a pretty cool little project. Like, you know, maybe an hour and a half, two hours, depending if you want to do top and bottom. If you have this type of mailbox. Alright. Alright guys. This is it. You can see the light. And you can see the back of the house. You see the house? Matches with the mailbox. Yeah, honestly I gotta do the cable. I gotta hide the cable tomorrow. But, much of the house. Enjoy.